storing formula any activities this is a really great little thing that class bank can do so we'll start in e activity and uh, always best file new uh, okay if there was anything there now to put in a uh, formula strip we simply tap on insert strip to num solve and as we do that two things happen we get a strip uh, up here and down here is the open strip uh, with a, a little box ready to pop an equation in so if we tap up the keyboard and head down to the variable tab we want to put this formula in here for the circumference of a circle so I guess we'll start with a capital C use the equals key off the keyboard and uh, now we need to nip back to math uh, well we can use the 2 from over here first followed by a pi back to the variables now a lowercase r when I tap execute classpad looks and discovers there are two variables c and r in this formula lays them out ready for us to go now uh, we'll just close this for a minute before we use it so I'm going to tap on the cross in the top right hand corner uh, in this strip here I can put some text to remind myself what's in here so I'll use the ABC tab to do this and uh, this is uh, what shall we call it a circle oops I can't spell so I'll backspace C I R C L E um, so we've got a formula in our strip we have put a name uh, a good thing to do is to actually save it so if I now tap on the file save um, I'm in the root directory nothing can be saved here I always have to save in a folder here's a folder so to get into the main folder I tap twice tap tap and now I'm in the main folder where I can save uh, e activities so I'm going to call this demo one so D E M O a space and one and tap save so my e activity is saved I can uh, open it up at any time now let's see how it works to open this solve strip I'm going to tap on the word solve at the very right hand end here and the equation that we typed in before has been stored in there now supposing the circumference of our circle is 50 centimeters I'll type in 50 and we want to know what the radius is so we say we don't know what R is select the unknown and right up here there is a solve key so I'm going to tap solve and class pad substitutes the values in and works out the radius must be 7.9577 and that's basically how these strips work um, just to show you that you can solve um, put a lot of strips in obviously now we just be on here and insert strip num solve and now we've got two strips ready to go with another equation I'm just going to take you to a website uh, I'll get my browser up so this is charliewatson.com slash Casio and I've headed off to Charlie's uh, waste help page here it is now if I scroll down here you can get uh, these kind of activities uh, ready made for your calculator so I'm going to tap on applications units 1 and 2 which is also the general math 1 and 2 in uh, Victoria and New South Wales now here it is it's downloaded onto my computer I'm just going to drag it straight over onto my class pad and class pad opens it up so let's hide that window and here you can see we've got quite a few formulas for Pythagoras uh, right angle triangles I'll slide down a little bit we've got sector perimeter areas and so on further down we probably have some things to do with money so compound interest uh, if I tap solve to open this one up you can see there's the compound interest formula waiting to go I can tap solve again to close it uh, so you can see you can put quite a few formulas into any activity